Welcome to Electronic Geek. In this video, we will be seeing how to design an embed ripple carry address circuit using IC7483. By N, I mean any number of N bits can be added. For example, it can be a 4 bit adder, 8 bit adder, 10 bit, or 12 bit, like this. Before starting with the actual design, we will be covering some basic concepts which are required to understand the overall working of the circuit so the first thing that we will be covering is the working of a full adder uh, circuit so a uh, full adder is a combination circuit which adds three bits you all know the, the output of a full adder can be expressed in terms of sum and carry for which the logical expressions are the sum is expressed as a x or b x or c which is the overall xor operation of all the three bits and the carry is uh, the logical expression for carries AB plus BC plus AC. Okay, so this was the basic requirement about a uh, uh, full adder circuit. Now, uh, coming to the block diagram of a ripple carry adder. Now, ripple carry adder is a bit modification, or you can say it's an application of a full adder circuit. Now, IC7483 is a 4 bit ripple carry adder IC. Now, in, in this, what actually happens is there are four stages of full adder circuit and each stage performs the addition operation of three bits. Now if you see the block diagram of this IG7483 then it is something like this. See, first of all as I said earlier in full adder circuit uh, three bits are there. So if you have two numbers let's say uh, your two numbers are this. Your two number are 1011 and 1010. So this is A and this is B. So uh, if you see here, then there are a total of four stages, and in each stage, first bit of both the numbers are added, and you are getting the output. So to start, this particular C in is the input carry, which is given to the stage one. Okay, so normally in, in our operations, this C in is grounded as uh, uh, there is no carry at the start. Now, if you start adding these two things, what, what will it become? Here, if you add these two, 1 plus 0 gives you 1. Now, 1 plus 1 gives you 1, 0. So, uh, carry is 1 and sum is 0. So, write 0 carry over here is 1 so 0 plus 0 plus 1 gives you 1 and 1 plus 1 gives you 1 0 so this is your final answer like 1 0 1 1 plus 1 0 1 0 gives you 1 0 1 0 1 so comparing this block diagram if you see what happened is this is the input carry which which is grounded by default okay so these two were added and what ultimately you got was 1 over here then uh, this particular carry bit is fed to the uh, input carry of the next stage and the second bit of both the numbers are added so you can see over here here it was 1 plus 1 so uh, no change this one was 0 and the carry was 1 so now in the third in the third stage it became 0 plus 0 plus the input carry to that stage so it was 0 plus 0 plus 1 which gave me 1 and uh, again over here it was 1 plus 1 which is 1 0 so again this particular one is the carry so it will be reflected as the C out and the uh, output that is which is the sum shall be 0 so this is the basic working of a ripple carry adder circuit it has uh, stages of a full adder circuit and the inputs to that full adder comprise of the two bits of both the numbers and the third bit is the uh, carry bit of the previous stage. So this is how a ripple carry adder works. Now uh, we shall go to Proteus to implement our circuit. In the beginning I told that we will be designing an n bit adder circuit using IC7483. Uh, but before making an n-bit adder, first of all, we will be making a 4-bit adder just to see its operation. Then later on, we will improve our circuit and make an n-bit adder. Before designing, one more thing I want to add is whenever you are adding uh, two bits or uh, two numbers of uh, same bit width, that is, 
if you are adding uh, two four bit numbers then the maximum output that you can get is a five bit number so to for an n bit number if you are adding two n bit number the maximum output that you can get is always n plus one bits uh it won't exceed over n plus one okay so let's uh, start first of all we'll take ic7483 you can take any of these place it we needing toggle switches logic toggle and an led to see the output we shall be using red led now see this a1 to a4 are the four inputs of first number and b1 to b4 are the four inputs of the uh, next number c uh, this pin number 13 is the input carry which is normally grounded uh, for most of the operations and uh, these are the output bits s1 s2 s3 and s4 this is the output carry c out okay so uh let's start designing it uh, here we are making four bit at a circuit so uh, connect this switch to all these pins and uh, again over here too like this and as i said this uh, c0 pin uh, that is the input carry pin shall be uh, grounded go to terminals and ground this pin and uh, on the output uh, connect leds one more thing we will label this net it becomes easy for us so we will label this net as ground and uh, we will place this label over here such that uh, one more again Yeah, this is the last one. Simply place it over here. Connect it. And you are done. Now it's time to test our circuit whether it's working fine or not. So, uh, we'll be using the same uh, inputs as uh, seen over here. 1011 plus 1010. So, start the simulation. So our first number was 1010, so click here on start simulation and then we will change the uh, switching positions 1011 plus 1010, 1010, see this, now it uh, the out final answer that you can see is 10101 which is the same as this. Thus, we have successfully executed a 4-bit ripple carry address circuit using this particular IC. Now, if if you want to uh, convert this circuit from 4-bit address circuit to a 6-bit address circuit or 5-bit, you know, to n number of, you know, make things by cascading ICs, it's as simple as that. So, what is to be done is, uh, first of all, stop the simulation, place one more IC. And... Uh, remove this LED and the wire delete delete 
delete delete हाँ so now uh, similarly uh, in in case of a six bit adder what you will do is uh, simply place this over here now it's it's five bit adder and uh, now it's six Pl same thing over here place it like this and like this connect it connect it like this and uh, change the net label to GND simple things place the LED place ground on both these LEDs over here and same over here and one more LED on the carry 4 You know one of the major mistakes we have done over here is while cascading the two ICs you are not supposed to ground this particular pin which is the input carry because this particular output shall be an input over here you know? so this is not supposed to be grounded make sure that you do not do it simply connect it keep the name as C in Now both of these are connected. Sorry. Okay, we are ready to simulate our circuit, and uh, just uh, now, uh, this particular A2 is now the MSB for the entire 6-bit data frame, and this is the LSB. So a bit things have been changed. Start the simulation. See you change these values and uh, similarly you will be getting the outputs so you can verify this particular thing by taking any number you want so uh, now before ending this we will uh, see the drawbacks of ripple carry at a circuit first of all as i said before that it has stages and the carry goes to every next stage and uh, full subtra full addition is uh, performed uh, for 3 bits so if you see in this stage every time the the next stage always waits for the previous stage to send the carry input and then it will perform and then the next stage will perform and the next so it is quite time consuming if you see in terms of uh, propagation delay and all those things so ultimately this particular isn't too fast for too fast if you are adding uh, many number of bits let's say uh, eight or m many anything so in over in order in order to overcome this particular drawback of ripple carry adder we have carry look ahead adder so we will be seeing that in the next video this is it for this video thank you for being till here thank you so much please do like share and subscribe my channel do let me know your feedback in the comment section Thank you for being till here. Thank you so much.